Hello again. I am still Andrew Walker and I still run uh, a blog of my 3D printing activities called UniquePlastique.com. Check it out. It's all there, warts and all. Um, I'm very excited. Uh, have a look at the screen here. Um, this little fella is called a Spore. And Spore, as you can see, is a complicated, uh, complicated shape of um, a spiky thing inside a ball full of holes. And uh, that's the blender, blender model there. And basically, you know, one of the really cool things about 3D printing, obviously, is the fact you can print complex shapes which are articulated and have um, printed components within other printed components. And I had never done one of those. This is the first. It, I'm thinking it's a funky sort of spiky ball thing. It's really just a, just a, to see, you know, how it works and get my modelling right. Um, to, to work on those skills. But also, it would make a kind of cool necklace. Anyway, hey! It's here! Um, they're here. This feels incredibly light, so I've no idea what's inside it. Um, I, I, it could actually be another cufflink, and I've got overexcited about something totally wrong. But while I'm designing my cufflinks, um, I've been, you know, working on other things too. So I'm going to open it again. So I'll just put the phone down here. Thank you, Shapeways. Again, they're still awesome. Um, okay, right. Another film of bloke opening his mail. One of these days I'll get it wrong, and I'll stab myself in the chest live on YouTube. Let's have a look. What's this? Spore! No, it is the Spore. Look. There it is. It says Spore. So, let's have a look and see how it turned out. Okay, I've got different materials. I've ordered it in. Let's start with um, the coral pink plastic. Here it is. Ooh! Oh, check it out. Check it out. Look at that. So as you can see, um, if I bring it right up to the camera, you can see that this outer shell, let's make sure it's in focus, and the spikes are separated. There we are. So I'll just pop him down there. Um, I mean, the thing is, you've got to work with some fairly tight sizes and some very small clearances on the holes and on the spiky thing itself. But that is... oh, that's nice. And it kind of rolls, you know, because these things move around inside it, as you can see, um, as it rolls along, they roll in and out. Okay, right, let's have a look. This this is another one. So that, that this is plastic here. This one... Ooh, that's nice. This is in a material called polished alumide, and this is actually... Is it? Is that the alumide? Uh, this might be sandstone. I'm not sure. It feels like alumide. Um, I'm not sure. That's, that's quite funky. Okay. That one actually has worked really nicely, and you can see right inside. So you can see inside, and if I move my fingers around you can see the spikes moving. Um, I don't know what this one is. I think this one, this is probably, ah, oh, okay. Check it out. I was trying in different types of plastic. So, yeah. This one is the sandstone. And um, this is laser sintered sandstone. You can have a look there. You see, it looks good in the white. What's interesting about this is this is actually the cheapest material to print in, and you can do full color printing in this. So um, I can, you know, have different colored innards and outards, which actually would increase the visibility of it. It's got a really nice feel to it. It's sturdy. That's definitely sturdy enough to make a necklace out of, and it's it's pretty. It's pretty sexy, I really like that. Okay, now I've got a couple of other materials here, which are interesting, uh, because they are transparent. This is um, what they call detail plastic. 
and as you can see there, you can actually see more through it, so you can see more inside the workings of the spore, um, and see this sort of complicated star shape inside. And I've got another material, my final one, which is um, detail plastic. And detail plastic is that bit clearer, and you can see there, you can see inside the moving parts, and that's not bad. That that's quite good. And you can see right inside that one and see the the various bits and bobs. To be honest, this is the one that excites me, because this feels definitely strong enough to make a necklace out of. And by making it with this one, I can apply different colour models and actually uh, that's gonna do an awful lot for the visibility of the interior and the exterior and make it cool. So there we are. Another great parcel from Shapeways. Um, thank you, Blender, for your awesome free software. And yeah, I think we're going to have a nice spiky... Oh dear, look at my horrible hurty finger. You don't see that. Um, yeah, there we are. Different materials from Shapeways. What's, what's really interesting is if we look at this, what you're seeing there is a mixture of... Plastic, sandstone, aluminium, which is uh, obviously an aluminium-based product, and um, transparent plastic. Uh, gives you some idea of the, the range and the variability of it. This one, this is the one that's got me really excited, because this little fella is going to come in lots of different funky colours. So, another component for my uh, line of bizarre... Uh, 3D printed jewellery. Really pleased with that. In the meantime, I'm just making a whole load of new cufflinks, um, which is great, but you know, the thing with 3D printing is, is once you've done one bit, you kind of want to try something else. So, um, yeah, I think I might just spend a little bit of time playing with this now. Um, okay, that's me, Unique Plastique. Come and say hello, and see me on YouTube. Buy the jewellery would be <laughs> really cool. From my shop, all the stuff that's on there is my first sort of generation prototypes, which I did months and months ago. And to be honest with you, they're not nearly as cool. So wait for the new stuff, and then come and uh, cover yourself in plastic. I want to rub plastic all over your body. Peace.